Hello, today is the 5th of January and in this coming month, I will be trying film journaling. So recently I saw a video about film journaling and how this girl like set up her film journal for the year and I thought that is a really interesting idea. So I decided to set my own up and try it for the month. And then at the end of the month, I will film an outro with my thoughts on film journaling and whether or not I think I will keep up with it. So now I'm going to go and watch a few other videos on film journaling to get some inspiration. And then I will do my planning for my month of film journaling because I love planning. And yeah, so that's going to be the rest of this video. Plus some of my film journal um, spreads, setups. Yeah, okay. Okay, so stick around if you want to watch that and I'll see you at the end of the month. Okay, so first I decided to design the cover of my film journal or as you can see in this clip, my book, TV and film journal and oh, poetry, prose, plays, all that sort of stuff. So I wrote that down on my cover page and here I made a little cheat sheet for myself so that I would remember what had to go in each entry for the different things that I would be covering in my journal. Okay, so then it was time to start on the actual entries. So the first one I did was La La Land. So I'm going to be bringing you through the process, or my process, when I was um, setting up my entries and using La La Land as an example. So as you could see just now, I used the font of La La Land. So I did a quick Google search and then, I, as you will see later, I copied it down into my journal. Then I looked for the songs of La La Land, especially because La La Land is a movie musical. And I made a little um, top songs playlist thing in my entry. Then I also looked for quotes and this is where I had to go to quite a few websites. And finally I just went onto Pinterest and I searched for La La Land quotes and I found one. So after that I looked for the synopsis, the cast, the director, the writer and I wrote a quick review of La La Land in my journal. Then as a finishing touch, I went online to look for some photos and I um, screenshotted a few and printed them out. So this whole process took me about half an hour and now here I am setting up my La La Land spread. So as you can see I sketched out uh, the layout of my spread first in pencil. Then I filled it in with pen and I used a bit of washi tape to create some borders and add some colour. La La Land is one of my favourite movies and I really love how it's shot and how beautiful the colours are. And I also really like the story and the acting, even though I still don't think it deserved to um, almost win an Oscar because, you know, in order for the presenter to have presented the Oscar to La La Land for Best Picture, they sh would have had to believe that La La Land could win Best Picture, but honestly, eh, La La Land is one of those movies where Hollywood is playing to Hollywood and thus I don't think it was. Oscar worthy but still it's a fun movie and one of my favorites. So next I decided to start on my entry for Lady Bird. Lady Bird is one of my favorite movies and Greta Gerwig is one of my favorite directors ever. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what she has in store for her next few movies. Oh and can I just say that Saoirse Ronan, she's a really good actress. For this entry's quote I kind of used the pen that was too light to be picked up by the camera but it's one of my favorite quotes from Lady Bird so I'm gonna read it out now. So this quote says, We are afraid that we will never escape our past. We are afraid of what the future will bring. We are afraid we won't be loved, we won't be liked, and we won't succeed. So 
as a teenager myself, this quote was really quite mm, relatable, I guess. And yeah, that's kind of what I liked about Ladybird. Oh, I also did a little director's feature in the top right hand corner of this entry. Now I'd like to introduce a little dance movie I like to call my favourite dance movie. So this movie's name is Center Stage and it came out in 2000 I believe. So I really like this movie. Okay, it's not like a fantastic movie in any sense. But I think that the dancing is great, the plot is great, the characters are great and all around. It's a really nice like comfort movie. In fact, this year I watched it on the eve of my birthday. Next was Mean Girls, one of my favourite teen movies of all time. And I only did this um, journal entry for the movie and not for the musical. But I added a note in there somewhere that the musical, yeah, I believe the musical has really great music too. For my last entry of this month, I did um, an entry for Soul, the new Pixar movie that I saw earlier this month and I think that Soul is now my favourite Pixar movie. I just loved it a lot and I thought it was pretty funny. So for this entry, instead of um, printing out pictures from the internet because it was quite late at night and also my printer was kind of dying, I got a reference picture um, of the internet and I copied it out and I drew a little 22 and Joe. Okay, so I don't know if you noticed but in all of my entries I used quite a bit of paper because I was printing stuff out but don't worry I actually uh, kept that paper and I'm gonna be using it for like rough work for all my homework and stuff. So all in all this month of film journaling was pretty fun and I think it's quite a nice activity to do when you're like kind of stressed out. So in the future, I think I'll continue with it and I'll also be posting some videos of me journaling for other things like books and TV shows and plays and stuff. Alright, thanks for watching and bye!